What's up, gang? Knife Life 116 here, and today we got another unboxing. Let's get into it. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day so far. If you're not, just pretend you are. <laughs> just kidding, guys. Let's see here. I'll need that. That nice, super duper pouch from Sabibi. And yes, guys, <clears throat> this one is from Savivi. All right, just the usual stickers, warranty information, cleaning cloth, a little pamphlet, and the knife. The knife. The knife. Knife. Knife knife. <laughs> just playing, guys. Okay, guys, in case you haven't figured it out yet, this is the Civivi Sentinel Strike. And I got this one in the green with the Damascus blade. So what this is here is you got the green aluminum scales and you have a FRN integral backspacer. And then you have your Damascus blade here. Really, really liking this one. I like the size of it. <clears throat> I like the weight. It's not it's not heavy, but it's not too light where it feels cheap. Just the perfect weight for your pocket. This FRN turned out really nice, guys. I was trying to figure out why they didn't just go with the G10. I don't know if it had something to do with weight, probably just the cost, but this isn't terrible. I'm sure it, you know, G10 would have looked a little better, but this is okay with me. Nice little texture on it. Got a little frag pattern going on. There's no texture on the green aluminum scale. We have like these three little speed hole type things here. I think that looks pretty cool. And you have the usual button lock that you get with all the Civivi button locks. They've really nailed the button lock every model of theirs that I've got in a, in a button lock has been so good, so crisp. Looks like we got T8s all the way around. Yep, T8s all the way around. What's this? Uh, how's this pocket clip? Oh, okay, up here. So you got like a hidden glass breaker. I like the way how it's kind of, you know, it's got a lower profile. It's not really hidden per se, but it's out of sight, but it's there when you need it. So I like that. So I'm guessing that the, you just take this off and then that's how you get to your pocket clip and it is reversible. See how it sets in this little slot right here, guys. That's what keeps it from wiggling back and forth. Kind of like a stone wash finishing on the back of the pivot. I like that. Just a normal old basic uh, pocket clip. Pretty cool. We do have jimping on the flipper tab. And it is going all the way around. Really, really digging that. I also like these holes on the back of the integral spacer. Really looks cool. And every little bit counts for 
making it a little lighter. Okay. Moving right along. She is perfectly centered. And so for your deployment options, you're gonna have a flipper tab. You got thumb studs on both sides. And you got the flicking hole or finger hole. You can reverse flick this. You can thumb flick it. Pretty much any finger you can get in that hole, you can use that to deploy the knife. So they weren't stingy on the deployment options here. They gave us a little bit of everything. Really digging that. I like to fidget with my knives. Let's get to the blade, guys. Oh, wow. What a beautiful blade. Check that out. Man. <laughs> that Damascus is just... Woo! Pops. It's like on this side kind of reminds me more like a, I don't know like a tiger pattern not really tiger but something along those lines and then over here it's like like waves like the ocean really 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 cool I know a lot of work went into this and I can really appreciate that at the end of the day with my hard-earned dollars went into a product that a lot of work and quality and care went into just makes me feel good yeah oversized four finger tool wow i mean you can really 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 get up in there for some precision and some digging oh yeah really really loving that full purchase Blade is going to be quite excellent for utility cuts. See, as I barely lifted my elbow. And the way this blade works, it's just going to transfer all the energy straight down this blade into the tip. See, this blade has no curve, it has no belly, it's just straight. So all that force is going to be transferred down to this tip where you can control it precisely, put it where you want it. Really don't think they could have chose a better blade shape for this one. Really, really digging the reverse, the reverse Tonto Damascus. Got a huge oversized finger hole. So you don't have to worry about fumbling or finger placement too much with this guy. You can pretty much just wing it. Well, except for that time. Pretty much just wing it. And it's gonna go wherever You tell her to. Super smooth. Almost glassy smooth. No button stick at all. Zero button stick. Check it out how it just closes up. See that, guys? See how the, how the lock just kind of pulls it up. Pulls the knife in, it doesn't let it bounce back out. Just sucks it in like it's supposed to. I really like that. See, Civivi has really figured it out. They've really fine-tuned these button locks. And they've really went that extra way to just give us that extra quality and satisfaction that we all desire. I think very highly 
of Savivi and we and Sin Cut as a whole in general. Usually when they come out with something new, I don't hesitate. Jump right on board. I actually got this one as a pre-order. <clears throat> as soon as I saw the email, I got right on there and uh, I pre-ordered this because I was pretty sure it was going to sell out pretty fast. And it didn't sell out right right away like I expected to, but it's, it's going really fast. And you never can tell with these things, guys. Sometimes, like, one that you don't think is going to sell will end up selling super fast. And then one that you did think was going to sell may not sell at all. It's just no telling. But so if you see a new knife drop or this dropping that you really want, you don't want to miss out, guys. I do recommend going ahead and just doing the pre-order. Civivi was really good to me on this one. Um, like I said, they reached out to me through an email, asked me if I would be interested in uh, ordering these at, through the pre-order. And I think I got like maybe a $7 off discount. So I think this brought my total to maybe around 115, something like that, give or take about 115 for this guy. And that that's when it first came out. So it's a little bit higher. It's before the original drop the you know the original release so they did lower the price after that so that's really cool Savivi thank you guys for that so it is priced to go I think you can get this thing right now for on Amazon for around I think it's a hundred and six dollars a hundred and six dollars guys for a uh, aluminum integral with Damascus blade come on guys who cares if this is FRN it looks nice feels nice it completes the whole integral um, objective of ob objective of the knife I have no problem with it really like the knife as a whole this guy's running on bearings that's why we're getting such a great flicking action such a great closing action almost guillotine action super light super balanced right there's your balance point guys right on the money let's see how sharp this guy is I can about guarantee it that she is like just hair popping sharp everything that I get from Savivi always comes super razor sharp and so did this one Listen to that, guys. Screaming sharp. Woo! That's me, guys. Sorry. There we go. So, as you can tell, comes very, very sharp right out of the box. And I think this is like a non-CR Damascus. So, it should sharpen up fairly easily. Should respond pretty well to stropping honing blade maintenance and edge maintenance should be generally easy for this guy really digging that blade shape really really useful really really good for EDC tasks 
It's even good for some self-defense tasks. If that's your type of thing, if that's what you're needing, it'll definitely get that done for you. And with this price tag, it definitely doesn't disappoint. Savivi's been coming out with a lot of new fire this year. 2023 is just phenomenal with the button locks lately. It seems like they just keep getting better and better each and every single time. These companies never cease to amaze me with their new products and their innovation, their new locking systems, the new steels that they're innovating into their blades, new hardwares. It's just really amazing, guys, and I'm just super excited to be a part of the community, super excited to be a part of the hobby. And if you ask me, there's just really no place or nothing else I'd rather be doing as far as this goes, guys. Really, really happy and feeling really blessed to be here. doing something that I absolutely love. <clears throat> you hear the snap on that, guys? Ooh-wee. It's super, super nice. Look at it go. But this guy is definitely a winner. So that's it, guys. We're going to end it there for the unboxing and the first impressions. Hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I have. I have an absolute ball when we do this. I really like coming on here and sharing my new knives with you guys. Uh, I'm sure most of you know, most of my subscribers already know this, but... <clears throat> I'm not an affiliate with any of these knife companies. Um, I don't get paid anything. They don't give me anything. There's no type of exchange. So all of the information that I give you, it's my opinion. It's nothing, no type of like robbery going on. It's, it's no favoritism. It's nothing like that. I buy all these knives with my own hard earned money. And it's just a hobby that I really, really love doing. It's a, a passion that I have, and I love sharing it with you guys. So you can count on an honest opinion. And um, guarantee you that you're going to have a lot of fun on this road with me, guys. All right, so buckle up. And that's going to be it for this time, but we're going to rock and roll. We're going to be doing another one soon, very soon, because we got another one right here. All right, guys, that's going to be it. Knife Life 116, we're out.